In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for Ca3N2. This is calcium nitride. So calcium nitride is an ionic compound. We'll start by writing the calcium atoms. We have three of those. Then we have the two nitrogen atoms. So calcium is a metal, the nitrogen, that's a nonmetal. So we're gonna transfer electrons from the metal to the nonmetal. If we look on the periodic table, calcium's in group two. So it has two valence electrons. So we'll give each calcium two valence electrons. Nitrogen, that's in group 15, sometimes called 5A. So we'll give each nitrogen five valence electrons. So at this point, nitrogen has five valence electrons. If it gets three more valence electrons, it'll have an octet that's very stable. So calcium, the metal, is going to transfer electrons to the nonmetal until the nitrogen, it has an octet. So we have to take one here. So now this nitrogen, it has an octet. Then these electrons, they go here to form an octet around this nitrogen. So you can see why we need three calcium atoms for these two nitrogen atoms. Since each nitrogen gained three electrons, electrons are negative, we're gonna put a three minus charge as the charge, ionic charge on the nitrogen. Each calcium lost two. Since it lost electrons, electrons are negative, two plus ionic charge on each of these calcium atoms. Since these calciums, they've lost their electrons, the nitrogens have gained them. Let's put brackets around the nitrogens to show that the electrons are now with the nitrogen atoms. Since we have these positive charges here and these negatively charged particles here, they're attracted. That's what forms the ionic bond. So this is the Lewis structure for Ca3N, calcium nitride. Note that this is what we call a formula unit. If you had a solid calcium nitride, it'd be a crystal and it'd be made up of this repeating formula unit. But the Lewis structure here for calcium nitride, this is useful to see how the valence electrons have been transferred from the calcium to the nitrogen and that we need three calcium atoms for each two nitrogen atoms. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.